guys, welcome back. Modi 101 here with the wonderful Psychotic Dreamer, a.k.a. Mikey. That's him right there. Hey, and, that's me. They let us know in between that we had the beetroot seed all this time. Yep. The beetroot yep. seed was the friends we made along the way. The beetroot seed was the journey. The beetroot seed was in our heart the whole time. So I had to cut open my, Mikey's chest. There yeah. we go. Now we got Sherry King. Sweet. Right. Yay, then we can move on to Watermelon. All right, I gotta make this book. Anyways, oh, all right, so you sure can then. Yeah, that's why I needed it. Oh, that's why it was locked. Uh, okay. yeah, sugar can. I can do it this way. Okay, all right. Uh, string. How do I get string? Hmm. Uh, there's uh, industrial hemp seeds in the chest. Cause I got them when I was breaking gra all that grass. Oh, nice. nice. Okay, I'll to plant those somewhere. Uh. Mm -hmm. Anyways, all right. So we talked before. Did you make any ice? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. Um. So I have a issue. Okay. <laughs> Just one. Yeah, yep. we're <laughs> focusing on one, Mikey. Okay, I get where you were going with that. Sh sh Shuddy McTalky hole. Listen. So I have this, and it's it's been like this, and I'm and I'm commenting. I have this thing to where if I have any downtime, right? Mm -hmm. Where, and what I mean by downtime is not sleeping, you know, I'm not, it's basically anything that isn't sleeping, eating, or hanging out with Heather, right? I always feel that I should be working. Um, to the point where I'll, now sometimes it's beneficial, right? I'll, you know, you know, I'll get on here and make, by the way, I made all this stuff like the day after we recorded last week. This has been like this for, well, maybe two days after. I think you said you got on. Um, yeah, and I just have this thing where, like, anytime I'm not hanging out with Heather or unconscious, sometimes I do both, um, I feel I should be working, right? And so what ends up happening is is that any time I'm not doing that, I don't know if I want to use the word guilty, but I don't feel good, right? But then on the other hand, there's times that like, I want to do something that isn't work. Now, generally, I'm not going to play Minecraft for fun. You know, I don't, I, I have not had like a, a, a single player just for the, the fun of it world in many many years um and so and and that's okay because trust me i have more than enough to keep me busy the rest of the time the problem is i have other things that i i want to do i just never get around to it so i'll give you i'll give you some examples i'll give you some examples um i am a big fan of 2d metroid Super Metroid to me is one of my favorite games ever. Or it's probably my favorite game, period, right? And then Metroid Dread came out, which I was not a fan personally of the uh, oh, the, the first person Metroid shooter games, only because I, I'm not a big fan of first person shooters. That's just me. Nothing wrong. Just my thing. And so, yeah, when Metroid Dread was coming out, I was so excited. Legitimately. And we got it. And I played it, Heather watched, which is another weird thing that the, the idea of somebody watching me play video games seems crazy. And I get the irony. Thank you very much. Um, but, uh, and, and it's not like, you know, I'm like, oh, well, Heather, you know, not like your generic relationships where I'm like, you know, oh, the, the, you know, the girlfriend hates me playing video games and nothing. It's quite the opposite. She, 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 she is very much not pleased with my not having funness. But, uh, yeah, and I played it, I think, twice right after it came out. Got it pretty close to launch day. Very excited. Probably the only game I pre-ordered in... God, I don't even know how long. Okay, all of those, I got four industrial hemp. Wow, that... I got more seeds than I got. 
Um, so yeah, and and <laughs> just to give you an example of how little I do something just for me for fun. Uh, la so on Father's Day. Now, mind you, we we went we went out of town for a couple weeks, but um. Randy Wade for Father's Day had actually gotten me uh you probably seen it. It's it's a Lego set. It's a ship in a bottle. I don't know if you're familiar with that one, Mikey. You know that one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So it's it's basically uh it it's you know, it's a, it looks like a ship in a bottle, but it's all Lego. <laughs> he got it for me for Father's Day. And I'm extremely excited for it. And last night, so Heather and Pink Cacti have this weekly thing where every Tuesday night they they uh, they hang out, just them, just you know, girls night, and they watch uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, and they and they laugh. Holy crap! It, it just it, it rattles the windows. I love it. It's great. They just they love it, right? And usually that means on Tuesday evenings after Heather and I have eaten and hung out. I come up to my office and get back to work. By the time Tuesday evening comes around, I've kind of already done everything. <coughs> so I end up getting on and, you know, doing stuff that doesn't matter, doesn't progress anything. So, But last night, I watched a 80s video game documentary and sat in our loft, a TV we have not turned on in months. It's the other half of my office, by the way. It's on the other side. And, uh, yeah, I put Legos together. And Heather came up. She was going to bed to say goodnight. And, and I told her, I was like, yeah, I'm putting my ship in the bottle together. And I'm watching that thing. And just the pure giddiness on her face of, like, you go have fun, little buddy. Like, I think she, she toughened my <laughs> hair, you know, and, you know, patted me on the butt and said, get out there, tiger, that kind of stuff. I was like, all right, well, that's awesome. Uh, that whole thing is just weird. Um, I am doing stuff. You shush. I need a book. Um, so yeah, that's uh. Are you making nature seeds? Oh yeah. Well, yes, yeah, I just made nature seeds. Okay. All right. Wood. The wood seeds. Oh, that is something I want. So I don't have to worry about these stupid trees anymore. So. Anyway, so yeah, there's like so, and this kind of all just goes back to the whole stream deck thing. Is that I know that if I had it, I would just never play it. Not because I wouldn't like it, not because it wouldn't be have fun. I just I wouldn't do it because I have like I love like old school Nintendo games like Nintendo and Super Nintendo are still by far my favorite of any consoles ever. And yeah, you know you have all the ones on the Switch, and I've got the the mini NES and the the mini SNES consoles. Never touch them. Wouldn't get rid of them. I I, and they're not even like, I'm like, oh, I have them, you know, as a collector. No, no, I don't collect things. I just, I open them. Take things out of the box. Enjoy it. So, yeah, yeah, that's, uh... Mm -mm -mm. Yep, there you go. Um... So, yeah, that, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. Now, Mikey, you... You play games. I mean, you play games for fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I think it is, for me at least? It's, uh, all right, what are you working on? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some. I'm like, going to make um, chicken seeds. All right, I'll make the uh, the wood essence. Uh, okay. Dirt and nature. Okay. It's kind of Um. What was it, dirt? Yeah, dirt. So, yeah, it... I don't know. It's 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 just a case of, of uh, having to make myself do stuff, which sounds real weird when you're talking about something you enjoy. I don't know what it is. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm attempting to do that. We'll we'll see how it goes. Of course, I only did it one night. What is this? Wood seeds. I did it. Yay! Are are are, are you are you piggybacking on my nature seed there, hippie? Yeah, I needed to, so. I mean, because I need the nature seed also, so, you know. I got an extra one. Okay. 
anyway, so. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to do, like I said. I don't know. You gotta do what you gotta do there, buddy. Yeah. Well, I, 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 there's a small part of it, and I, and I know this, is that, uh, back in the day, which was Thursday, um, I used to record a lot, like, mm -hmm. a lot. I don't know if anybody goes back, but one, and this is just, I, I can't even fathom this anymore, like, it makes my brain hurt to even imagine this. At one point in time, and I feel bad, because I kind of made anybody who recorded with me do the same thing. Um, I used to record 21 videos a week. 21 20-minute videos every week. Um, well, what are you getting? I really like doing seats. Um... And yeah, every week, yeah. all the time. And back then, if, uh, say, anybody, like, say, Heather and I were taking time off, we would record two weeks' worth in a week. So we would record, there were times, there, I remember, I think it was when uh, Heather had to, and the boys, when they still lived in Mississippi, they were going to Michigan for her grandfather's funeral. And she was going to be gone for the whole week, which makes, you know, absolute sense. And, uh, oh, by the way, you don't have to put cross crops to make them spread. Okay. Like here. That's why I keep breaking them. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do it on there. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, we did 42 videos in a week. And this was, like, back, like, recording with Heather and Snoop and Krista and everybody, and man, and they did it. They were troopers. They should have just told me no, because that's 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 ridiculous. That is, that's absolutely ridiculous. But now to think of that, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't have the stamina. I don't. I don't have it. I think Mikey, me, and you recording together. We never did more than two episodes a week, right? Were we ever um, doing threes? We well at one point we were we were you were I was doing two series with you and we, I was record you did two episodes a day. Or, oh okay, so yeah, we're doing four. We're, so we were, we're, we're doing, doing four, four yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But even that, like you know, whew. nope. But my concept was uh, just got to keep making more content, <laughs> just pumping it out. So now I make less content. I'm not putting more quality in it. Oh God no, just doing less of it. <laughs> I think you've gotten better. Really? Yeah. I don't know how to, I don't know how to feel about that. Anyways, so yeah. So I, 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 I want to try... It's not that I don't have a lack of time. It's just, like I said, I just... Anytime I'm at my computer, I'm like... Or anytime... Let me put it this way. So... Most nights, like 99% of the time, um, I go to bed hours before Heather does. She usually go to bed around 10, because, you know, she's an adult, a grown-up. And I'm, I'm weirdly a night owl and an early worm, which is two weird animals to be at the same time. But, uh... So yeah, a lot of time, you know... I might redo this whole island, by the way, as I talk about not wanting to do unnecessary things in Minecraft. There's worms in this pack, but they only do three by threes, which mess up my five by fives. But every time I water, I end up stealing the water block for the soil. Um, you know, and then I have to. That's why you're constantly running in circles. You're half asleep from going to bed late and getting up early. I wish. I wish. No, I don't know. I, I, 
I think it's because there's so many people in the house that it's nice to have that couple hours of the night. Too. I, I did that long before Heather and the boys were here. Even when the girls were little, I, I would, uh... And I think that's a parent thing. You know, if you're ever curious... Now, you always hear about parents that, like, oh, you know, they're, they're little kids, they're toddlers and stuff. They put them, to get, put them to bed at, like, seven. If you are not a parent and you think that, that people do that just because, you know, that's what's good for the kid, you're wrong. They're just putting the kid to bed at 7 so they can have a few hours of no kid before they go to bed. Just telling you guys the truth. So. It also doesn't help the whole running in circles thing when I do most stuff I should be doing on camera, off camera. So. Alright, let's see. Are you making mushrooms? What are you doing? Mm, no, I hadn't done that. I wasn't going to do that yet because that... Probably making the mycelium. I always get worried making that because I don't want it to spread and mess everything up. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me see. Where do we have nature seeds? I'm going to spread these ones out. Alright. Let's see. Let's do this. Yep. I never really did that with it. I mean, a, a pink cacti was really bad because, uh, seriously, because, um, when she was born, I was 20, so staying up half the night was kind of still in my DNA at the time, but, uh, but Trina was a little bit better. Alright, let's do this. Nice. Yeah, so maybe next week you might come back and these might be all three by three plots. We'll see. You know, yeah, you know what I think another part of me staying up there later, Van? Because obviously I don't read. I can, I think. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I was told at one point I could. So, uh, I mean, I just read what you wrote. So at least at that, I've, I've gotten that far. So, um, yeah, but then that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Anyway. Uh, I'm a person who doesn't like going to bed until I'm tired. Like, I want to walk in, lay down, have my head hit the pillow, and just pass out. Because, you know, and, and, and I think this is probably everybody. Leaving me alone in a quiet, dark room with my own thoughts, it's not good for anyone. It is not good for anyone. <laughs> so, uh... So, yeah, that... that, that that's another reason why I think uh, I stay up so late. I think that's and, and and the worst the worst one I do now, Mikey. You you generally just try and get to bed as early as you can so that if you wake up, you just got yeah, right? or do you generally just go to bed when you're tired? Well, I I go, I go to bed about eleven o'clock. That's generally when I'm starting to feel tired, and I know if I go to bed much later than that, I'm gonna wake up at even weirder times and maybe be late for work coming on the day oh, and everything. Man, Oh, man, that is that is such an old guy move right there. I love it. Yeah. Falling asleep in your chair and then waking up at bedtime. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have a weird thing. We're, we're, we're getting we're getting to the, the theme of this episode is uh, you know, I think that Modi guy is crazy is uh, the, and this is a this is a goofy real life story that I mean, some people may have heard. I don't know. I tell this, I t tell nine stories just to tell sometimes, but uh, anyways, when I was six, I 
um, after school, I was in kindergarten. After school, my I would go to kind of like, uh, kind of one of those like at home daycares where it's like someone's house, like, mm-hmm. you know, 100% illegal, you know, type of situation. And, uh, oh, where did I get a, I got a bean seed? Oh, did you get that? I didn't intend to, but. Oh, well, apparently I stole your bean seed, buddy, sorry. Mm, okay. Um, and, uh, Um, so I was six and, and like, there was just this lady who lived down the street from us that, you know, we, my, you know, my mom paid and she had a bunch of kids there. Right. And it was only for like that after school until the parents got home from, you know, traditional nine to five job type thing. So it was only like at best a couple hours a day. Right? And the only thing I really remember from that is this, uh, it, I think this lady would like have nap time or something like that or at least like tell all the kids to chill out for a little while and uh, she uh, and I was laying there I was laying there and there was this that was super weird Uh, there was this kid who was a little bit older and by older I think he might have been like seven or eight he told me that if you fall asleep on your back, you have nightmares. Okay? Mind you, this is six-year-old me. And I I honestly thought he was an idiot. And uh, I'm like, that's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. And being at the age where you really don't understand how your mind works... Like, I want to say it was actually a few nights later, and I'm like, you know what? He's an idiot. It's not right. When you sleep on your back, you don't have nightmares. Well, so to prove him wrong, I slept on my back. And of course, because this is how the brain actually works, I think I gave myself nightmares. So, (laughs) at that point, he was right. And at that, you know, I mean, at six, you know, that's that, you know, that's that's your version of a scientist, right? (laughs) He knew what he was talking. And, uh, so yeah, for the longest time as a kid, I would not sleep on my back because I, I would get so much in my head that if I did that, I would have nightmares every single time. <laughs> so now I'm 45 years old. I know that that is not true. I, know, I think I'm even past the point where in my mind that I can even trick myself into that, Right. But it turns out now I've slept not on my back for so long, I straight up just can't do it. It is so <laughs> uncomfortable to me. So, like, if I lay in a bed on my back, I'm like, this is so weird. And what that has done is that has also made it to where I can't really, like, sleep in, like, a because Heather and I have a, like, a love sleep, love seat recliner thing. And even in that, it is it is very hard to I, I can't. I can't just lay back and fall asleep. I'm always gonna even in a recliner, now think about this. Even in a recliner I sleep on my side. Which which sucks wow. because then it's a straight up tell to Heather that I'm trying to sneak a nap in. <laughs> Anytime she looks over and I'm laying on my side, bent like a weird number seven, because I'm in a recliner, but trying to lay on my side, she goes, Are you taking a nap? No. No, this is this is horribly comfortable. I'm enjoying this so much. No way. No way. So yeah. So because some kid when I was 6 years old told me something and it got in my head. He mind gamed me. He, I I got it might have been Chris Angel, Angel because I was mind freaked. <laughs> Chris Angel, when I was six, mind freaked me. And, uh, yeah, so the closest I could say is the rare times, like, you know, using this trip, for example, that I fell asleep in the car. Even then, I was kind of, like, laying against the window or the door with the pillow on the side, which is how most people do it. But even then, it, it, it's really not sleeping on my back, so. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah. I do this kind of half stomach, half side, three quarter, ready to pounce. Sometimes I use my legs to make the number four. You figure out that. Once you see it in your mind, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Howdy, Fire Tiger. You're coming up just at the end. We're just going to wrap things up right now. So. All right. So, we delve more into my psyche. Unfortunately. Uh, wow. You know what, Mikey? <laughs> next episode, your turn. Eh, there's nothing deep about me, so no. I don't believe that. I'm as shallow as a puddle. Yeah, but sometimes puddles have puddles. Tell me about your puddle. That came out weird. Hey, Fire Tiger. Hope you're having enjoying the last minute of the stream. Yep, yep, yep. So, anyway, so yeah. So, there we go. I finally answered that, that, that internet question you've all just been waiting on pins and needles. Can Modi sleep on his back? And the answer, no. And I want to play Metroid Dread. All right, guys. This whole thing got weird. Uh, we're going to go raid Heather. Make sure you guys stick around. And then I will be back in an hour with Heather. We'll be playing some uh, whatever that ultimate progression. That's what it's called. Ultimate progression mod pack in about an hour. But right now, we're going to go raid Heather. But I want to thank everybody on the YouTube side for coming, hanging out. Like, subscribe, click that bell. Uh, go follow Mikey's uh, YouTube because it there's no content. He swears there never will be. And it makes him uncomfortable when you follow him. So it's funny. Mm -hmm. um, don't forget, if you guys want to become a Patreon, go check out the Patreon link. You can come hang out, shit chat with all the other Patreons, hang out on Saturdays with Heather and I. Saturday stream, play on all these servers, all that fun stuff. And, uh, and then, uh, yeah, and it helps support the channel as well. And then, lastly, go check out the host how to probably serve me. Want to thank everybody on the YouTube side. We thank you, Drag Dragon, for the sub and the bits. That's it, just those two. No, no donations. So, we're going to have to really kind of hustle in the, uh, the later stream to be able to hit some goals. So, um, anyways, but yeah, uh, Mikey, any, any, any parting words? Uh, thank you guys for being here, and I hope you were entertained. Yeah, that's asking a lot. All right, guys, yeah. well, until next time, thank you guys so much for hanging out, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.